you've been obliterating Trump, okay, in, in, in rhetoric and in tone when it comes to national security. And no matter how hot the rhetoric has been, this is what voters said to us, Survey Monkey. I'm going to put it up here. Trump leads Clinton among military voters by 19 points. So this comes from households where a member of the household uh, is either an active member of the military or a former member of the military. Why, if you guys have been, and, and your advertising's been about this, why haven't military families responded in kind? Well, I think uh, that the ratio that you're seeing there is very similar to the split that you saw in 2012, the mm -hmm. Barack Obama experience when he was running against Mitt Romney. But this is different. It's a traditional but advantage you're making, that Republicans... I understand that, yes. but you're unloading on Trump. You spent an entire summer eviscerating him as unfit to be commander-in-chief, and he's going to start all these wars, and it's made no... I understand. Well, you're right about the demographic trend lines. But that means your messaging is not breaking through. Well, I, no, I think that what's happening here is he's inheriting the typical advantage that a Republican usually enters a general election with when it comes to military and veteran voters. And I think that in the post-Labor Day period, what you'll see is we continue to make that case. And across the board, voters are just starting to tune in. And I think that what people will hear when it comes to Donald Trump's plans on national security and how he wants to use the military will be very troubling to them. That's why uh, just this past week, we've put up an ad on television in key battleground states and we're only using Donald Trump's own words about the things that he has said about veterans, attacking a Gold Star family, uh, belittling uh, John That's, McCain's I, service and, and, and his record and, as a POW. And you have been running these ads for weeks in no, this, some cases. This, veteran, I know this, this, one this is ad a new on one. veterans is just up this week. This one is a new one. I understand that. But are you concerned that it's not breaking through? Well, I think in the last two months of the campaign when people are really tuning in, you're mm -hmm. going to see Republicans and former mm -hmm. members of the Bush administration, other previous Republican administrations, people who are trusted voices on national security and the military coming out and saying you can't trust Donald Trump. Just to, in the last couple days, both campaigns have put out these lists of uh, right. military leaders that have endorsed both sides. Uh, we are proud of the 90-plus different uh, generals and admirals uh, that have come out and endorsed Hillary Clinton. On the Republican side, you've seen a 400-person drop-off from the list that supported Mitt Romney compared to those people that are supporting Donald Trump today. Let me ask you, uh, 